Yeah, I like it. I like the fact that it's not heavyweight, it's kind of lightweight. I can store it in my bag, so I carry my bag, so it's important for me to roll it up and kind of carry it. And also, it's quite fitted. There's nothing worse than, I suppose, putting a waterproof and you get swamped by it. The first impression of it when I tried it on, it was uh, really lightweight, but I found sort of after a couple of minutes, uh, my body temperature was pretty constant. It's, and uh, it's quite comfortable playing it. I had a full range of motion uh, and it was uh, very comfortable. The, the, the wrists are fitted, uh, there's drawstrings at the side, you can kind of bring it in. So it's all, I suppose, geared around making it as fitted as possible. Yeah, the fit, the fit's really good. Uh, I like it where the, on the sleeves that the cuff's quite narrow and you can adjust them quite well because you can sort of tuck it in behind your uh, watches and things like that. Uh, also I noticed that the collar at the back was quite high which uh, I imagine would be quite good uh, if rain sort of dripping down off the back of a cap or something like that so it doesn't end up down your back. It did feel as though it would, it would be breathable because again waterproofs sometimes seem to be a compromise between keeping dry and sometimes boiling, especially this time of year, and this seemed to be able to, to kind of cover both. Generally in the past always gone for sort of uh, plain solid colours but uh, yeah it's quite a nice colour. Uh, I think I'd definitely wear it uh, all the time in the rain. I have had some waterproofs historically where I wouldn't have been seen dead in them off the golf course. They were a waterproof practical suit and nothing else. Whereas this, I think if you wanted to, I mean, my wife tells me off for wearing golf gear in normal life, but I'm happy to do it. And when it's like this, I would do, yeah. I've had um, the, the, the kind of mid leg before, and the difference between the one that I was sent and the one that I've had previously was again how breathable it was. It's got this kind of mesh in the sleeves and down the sides, because again, sometimes it seems a compromise between, you start around early in the morning and it's, you know, it's a bit chilly, uh, and by hole four or five, you, you tend to be kind of sweating, <laughs> and then you've got to peel your legs off. This seemed to be, uh, again, more kind of temperature regulating, because it, it, it feels like it's a thermal type material, but it's got kind of vents in the side as well, so there's, there's an added element of, of breathability, if that's a word. And um, that's a feature that I've not noticed on the previous foot joy incarnations, that, that kind of breathable panel down the side. So this time of year, it's perfect. Uh, again, it's quite a sort of traditional style for the mid layers now, and uh, with the polo shirt, I found it quite lightweight, again, traditional style, and uh, again, very comfortable. You don't realize you've sort of got the t-shirt on half the time. One of the things about playing golf is you want it to keep you warm, keep you dry, but you don't want it to impede your swing, you don't want it to be baggy, you don't want it to, uh, I suppose, sag. <laughs> and this, this doesn't do that, it, it, it feels like it's kind of a modern technical fabric. Uh, it would dry relatively quickly, the, the mid layer, if, if needed to, but also it doesn't, it doesn't uh, impede you in any way.